One important lesson that I'm going to teach you today is about harmonic rhythm. If you were to separate the word harmonic rhythm into two words, what two words would you get? That's right, you would get harmony and you would get rhythm. So what is harmony first of all? Is this harmony? No, it isn't. That's a melody because that's your tune. Harmony That is a harmony because here I'm playing chords, so something something that accompanies a melody is harmony. So it's your it could be block chords or this could be played instead you could do uh, arpeggio. a bit like Strawberry Fields Forever. Also, if you have a chance to listen to more Beatles songs, not just Imagine, you would realise there are a lot of interesting chord progressions. So chords are the basis of harmony and then you can decide on how you play those chords, whether you want to play them as blocks, whether you want to play them as arpeggios and also all broken chords, you can call them the same thing. Um, but in this series, we are talking about harmonic rhythm. So rhythm. Let's now talk about rhythm. I'm going to play a melody. Was that an interesting melody? Mm, not really, because I didn't really vary the length of my notes. So the rhythm sounded a bit too even. But what if I did this? That sounds more interesting because I varied the length of the notes by giving them different notes lengths or durations. So rhythm is all about having a um, sequence of long or short notes and you're deciding on the length of those notes. So if I'm going one, two, three, four, they all have one count on these chords. But if I wanted to change the harmonic rhythm, what could I do? I could turn it, for example, into a dotted rhythm. I could go one, two, three, and could do a long short, just like I've shown you in the bass line of John Lennon. So you could vary it by making a dotted rhythm. You could do other things as well to it. You could turn it into a pattern. There are loads of varieties of harmonic rhythms. Or you could just sustain it for a whole bar. You don't have to turn it into something lively. A slow harmonic rhythm is suitable if you're doing a song that is slow moving, emotional, or maybe romantic, you want you don't want it to move too fast. But if you're doing like a dance piece where it's energetic, uh, you might want to give it more bounce, more patterns. So rhythmic patterns are really important when you are deciding on the feel of the music. So the mood is very important when you are composing or when you're writing songs. So think carefully about how you can vary the rhythm of your chords using interesting harmonic rhythm.